Do all that on the side. Okay, members of the press, I'll be thank you for being here with us uh, for this, this evening's uh, post game press conference. Second friend in Trinidad and Tobago versus Jamaica. With us, the head coach of uh, visiting team Jamaica, Jaime Algrimson, who's going to give an opening comment and then we open the floor to questions and read the media. Coach, uh, beneficial exercise for you, two matches in Trinidad. Um, tell us your thoughts on it, especially today's game. Um, yeah, yeah, two matches, the start of two matches here. Uh, good to go away, be with the players. 24 hours, seeing not only how good they are on the pitch, but learning about their personalities, and seeing how they behave in camp, how they work in our working environment, etc. Et so it's good to go away and play, because it gives you more, more time with the players. That is, that is one thing, um, not only seeing them as football players, but you know, getting to know them as persons. That, that, that was a, a good thing. Um, this game today, probably not the most beautiful football game I've seen. Um, it was a lot of, from our side at least, more longer balls than Trinidad. Uh, it was difficult to, to keep possession of the ball, so we did too early always looking for the long ball. Um, but in, in general, it was, a, it was a competitive match, always a, a, a physical game against Trinidad. Um, and I thought we, we coped with it quite comfortably, didn't concede a lot of chances. So if we take the, if we take the positives from this match, it's, it's, uh, we, we played without anyone getting injured. That, that is a big thing in the end of the season or coming to the, to the end of the season, not to, to get players injured for, for their clubs uh, back, back home in Jamaica. We played two games, I kept a clean sheet, so we can be happy about about the defensive part of our game. We played with, uh, I think all the keepers got like 60 minutes, so we could distribute the, the playing time between all the keepers equally. Um, and all the players played. Uh, most players played around 90 minutes. Um, so I think in general what we wanted, we saw the players, we gave them a chance to play at this level. Uh, it was a little bit higher level today because of the, the fans, the music, so it's difficult to come in. Um, to give like instructions on the page because of the music and stuff, but you like your music. <laughs> so, so no, I, I, it was overall, I think it was a, a good, good exercise. Perfect. Do we have an open question for coach? Yes, coach. You said you learned a lot from your way. Is there anything in the fan of your boss in your group of players? Our, our players? Yeah, your players. No, I think uh, it, in regards to the pressure of going abroad, playing uh, a rivalry like this one, I think they did pretty good. Uh, it's one thing to play at home against a team like Trinidad, but playing away is it's, it's different, especially in front of crowd. So I thought they did, did well. Football-wise, I thought we did better in the first game than today. I think we, were, we had the upper hand in the first game. I think Trinidad had the upper hand today, but we didn't concede a lot of goal-scoring chances. So in general, when you are not, when you don't have the upper hand, you're pretty happy with not conceding a goal and, and keeping the opponent away from uh, uh, creating goal scoring chances. So overall, I think the players did well in collective work that we we want. Um, it was maybe less of individual actions than in the last game. We saw more individual actions, more individual brilliance from us. So, but in general, I thought the players did well, they, they did what we asked and anticipated they would, they would do so happy. Coach, um, both countries have uh, something that they're preparing for in later this month, uh, very critical encounters for you and also for Trinidad and Tobago. So what's next for you as you look ahead uh, for the semi-finals of the Nations League? No, th this, this is now just a focus on the players that we are, have been carrying throughout the Nations League games. So we have done a good run League, we want to continue that, uh, but the opponent for us is, is US, so the highest ranked team in, in CONCACAF. So it's a tough match playing them at home. So just watching the players, con contacting the players that we have been using, some players from this camp, you know, they, they prove, a, prove the point. They could fight for a spot in that, in that roster. So no, now it's just fully focused on that, focusing on on uh, on US. It's probably the same for for Trinidad. They they play a tough game against uh, Canada. Uh, so wish you all the best, guys, in that in that battle. 
Um, and no, it's, it's now it's just to be fully focused, put, put our focus on US. Do we have a closing question for Coach? Are we good? All right, Coach, uh, thank you very much for being here with us on these two exercises, these two matches, and good luck to you and the Jamaica team going forward. Likewise.